is an ample experience in a woman's life it can be exciting yet stressful time for all women it's important to know and understand changes in their bodies for them to be aware if it's the early signs and symptoms of pregnancy next we move on to the classification of pregnancy signs pregnancy signs can be classified as first one is the presumptive sign probable sign and last one is the positive sign. now let's see what is presumptive signs these are changes felt by women these signs and symptoms are not proof of pregnancy but they will make you suspect of pregnancy because it may resemble pregnancy signs and symptoms but may in fact be caused by any number of other conditions presumptive signs include first one is the morning sickness it is otherwise called as nausea and vomiting it occurs commonly in early morning as early as the first month of pregnancy or may persist continually until delivery the severity of symptoms can vary this is associated with increased hcg levels but it is unreliable signs of pregnancy since it may result from other conditions such as gastrointestinal disorders infections emotional stress and indigestion thus it include as presumptive sign next move on morning sickness remedies and management try eating a few dry crackers before getting out of bed in the morning allow them to digest and then get up slowly avoid foods that you know make you feel nauseous remember to drink plenty of fluids next presumptive sign that is amenorrhea amenorrhea means absence of women's menstrual period it is one of the earliest clues of pregnancy but, but considered to be a presumptive sign it suggests pregnancy has occurred but not uncommon for a woman to miss her period it may be caused by stress hormonal imbalance allergic medications blood pressure drugs and contraceptives another presumptive sign that is changes in the breast in early pregnancy changes start with a light temporary enlargement of the breast and continues to increased fairness or tenderness and more visible veins due to increased blood supply but it could also be a result of hormonal factors or breast disease another presumptive sign that is fatigue fatigue means extreme tired resulting from mental or emotional or physical exertions this is a common complaint many women feel constantly tired in early pregnancy hormonal changes are likely the cause of fatigue but other reason to feel exhausted are anemia emotional stress another presumptive sign that is increased the urination you might find yourself urinating more often than usual the amount of blood in your body increases during pregnancy and causing your kidneys to process extra fluid that ends up in your bladder last presumptive sign that is quickening mothers feel their baby 
move as early as 13 to 16 weeks from the start of their last period. These first fetal movements are called quickening and are often described as flutter. Next, pregnancy signs that is probable signs. These are the signs observed by the examiner. They are more reliable indicators of pregnancy than the presumptive signs but are not definitive. Probable signs include two changes or signs. The first one is the uterine changes or uterine signs and second one is the cervical signs or cervical changes. Now let's see what is uterine signs or uterine changes. These signs in uterus are probable and cannot be considered as true signs of pregnancy. In uterine signs, different points are there. The first one is the uterine enlargement. At 12 weeks of gestation, uterus feels just above the symphysis babies. Second one is the Hega sign. This is softening of the lower uterine segment just above the cervix. Another one is the ballotment. This is demonstrated during bimanual exam. It is the sinking and rebound of fetus. Next we will move on to the another probable signs that is cervical signs or the cervical changes. In cervical changes we will see two important things. The first one is the goodill sign. Goodill sign means softening of the cervix. Cervix is normally firm like the cartilage at the end of the nose. Last cervical signs or cervical changes that is the Braxton Hicks contractions. This involves painless contractions occurring throughout the pregnancy. It usually be stopped by walking. Positive pregnancy test. It may indicate either a false positive or a false negative. It is just a probable sign. Chadwick sign. It is a bluish discoloration of vaginal wall. Last pregnancy signs. That is the positive signs. These are definitive and unmistaken signs of pregnancy. There are only three positive signs of pregnancy that are documented by the obstetrician or healthcare professional. There are three positive signs. First one is the fetal heart rate. Second one is the fetal movements. And last one is the fetal outline on ultrasound. Now we will see fetal heart rate. With the use of Doppler, fetal heart rate can be heard by 10 weeks onwards, fetoscope by 16 weeks onwards and by auscultation with the help of stethoscope by 18 to 20 weeks. The normal fetal heart rate usually ranges from 120 to 160 beats per minute. Hearing the first lap up of baby's heart will tickle excitement. No doubt there is a life inside. It's undeniably a positive sign. Second positive sign is the fetal movements. This fetal movements is felt by health care provider usually after 20 weeks where pregnant women feel their unborn baby's kicks. At first, the kicks observed will be few and far at intervals. But later, in second trimester, the flutters will be much stronger and regular. A proof that there is a life developing and confirm positive signs of pregnancy. The last positive signs 
that is fetal outline on ultrasound ultrasound image of the fetal outline is taken especially the head body and spine this confirms a positive pregnancy and allows healthcare professional to check the abnormalities in pregnancy